Back on baseball tonight for the Reds and the Expos. We're in the top of the first buck. Well, Sean Casey is at the plate, and he's going to hit a shot to right field. He's up in the first inning, and take a look at his swing. Breaking ball, and he hammers it. Here comes Vladdy Guerrero, who's had a great year, but right here, he just loses concentration. The ball goes off his glove. That leads to two runs, and the Reds lead 2 nothing. Casey extends his inning streak to 19, Bill. Bottom one, Peter Bergeron to right. Dante Bichette. Wow. Top second base is loaded. And this could have all the making. Ken Griffey, way back. And that one is gone. A grand slam for Griffey. His 32nd home run of the year, 6-0 Reds. Bottom of the fifth. Elmer descends pitching, and he's been great, hasn't he, Tim? Right, and he got a little help on this play from the Expos. Milton Bradley, second and third, one out. Chris Witcher's at third. He's got to know when that ball is hit up the middle like that or hit slowly like that, he's got to go home. Chris Witcher holds third for some reason, and now we got two guys at third at the same time. Chris Witcher gets in a rundown, and they're going to tag him out. He's a good player, he's a smart player, and he had a brain cramp on that one. The dreaded brain cramp. Reds win at 8-3. Descends, who had just three career wins in his first 86 Major League appearances, has won four straight starts. Eddie Toppins, he's four for five in the game for Cincinnati. Griffey, the Grand Slam, now tied with Robin Ventura for most career grannies. Now, sports director Brad Johansson with his stories behind the scores. Good evening, everyone. The Reds trying to get well in Montreal. Bats kind of came alive last night. And with Pete Harnish on the hill, odds pretty good tonight. Spider-Man in the house. Spidey looking a little chubby these days. Reds down one zip. Man on for De La Rosa. Got it. Deep to left. Gone. Reds down three zip the fifth. One inning later. Junior down the line. Larkin coming around from first. This is going into the corner. It's a triple. 90th RBI 3-1. Bichette next. Rips his shot to left. Junior going to score. Makes it 3-2. Now, Meat would come up big defensively in this one. In the sixth, watch him chase this thing to the stands. Sliding and... Got it in the bullpen. Still 3-2. Top of nine. Two outs. Vasquez looking for the complete game. Groves a 3-1 fastball to Taubin. See how big is that? His fifth tied at three. Bottom nine. Base hit to left. Here comes Blum. Here comes Meets throw. Got him. Going to extras in the 11th. He couldn't do it again, could he? Torby deep to center. Gone. How big is Torby right now? Reds win it 4-3 in 11. Hey, tomorrow it's Rob Bell's turn. Recalled from the minors on Thursday, he gets another shot to show what he's got, and happy for the chance. Not to say that I ever needed to reaffirm what uh, getting to major leagues was all about for me, but you go back down and those bus rides five hours to Richmond, Virginia, they're no fun. You can bet Jim Bowden's working the phones right now. Just over 12 hours left before the trade deadline. The Reds are just four games out now after sweeping Montreal today in the second Eddie Taubensy. Down the line, Stevens not going to get this thing. He's hot, man. It turns into a double. Dante scores for the Reds' early lead. He does it again in the fourth. Flair to left, another double, another RBI. Three for four. The Reds lead 3-1 when Meat goes yard. He comes in for Casey, who's got a sore leg. His 12th. Rob Bell is just sailing along until the eighth, until Lee Stevens comes to the plate. He hits a two-run shot, turns the game to 5-3, to three, but Bell's still okay until Tracy comes to the plate next, and that's another bomb. It gets a little scary at 5-4. to four. Larry Lubers has to come in in his first relief appearance, shuts things down. Graves gets the save in the ninth, more Expos defense. Ochoa, Sky in one to left. Three guys on it. Bergeron thinks his foul is fair. It's behind you. Bichette would knock two more in. The Reds sweep it. Bell wins the game. 7-4 to four is the final. This is the fourth Red sweep this season, but they have been swept five times. Rob Bell allows four runs, eight hits, striking out a career best, at least tying his career best at nine. Seven and two-thirds innings in his first start since June 23rd.